Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel, or of course, welcome if you're new. We are covering all things life simulation and today we depart from The Sims and the upcoming expansion pack Life and Death due out at the end of the month to talk about Paralives. I have a really exciting update for you today. The team has been posting a lot the past couple of weeks and I know I don't post every single time they update because usually it's just something small on social media or every now and then they post a blog post, but the Paralives content has been stacking up, so I feel like it's about time we catch up to speed. So the last time we talked about Paralives on the channel, we were talking about the sculpting, painting, adding rocks, grass, and more. We got a look at animations for baby Paras. We even saw a peek at new hairstyles, new clothing, but there is a lot to cover today. So without further ado, let's jump in. So last month in September, the Paralives team shared looks at some of the interior plants coming with the game. Now, I'm assuming that these are going to be coming with the base game. I swear, every time we take a look at this game, it gets better and better. I don't know, for some reason, the lighting in this screenshot looks really, really good. I don't know if this was edited in post or if this is actually how the game is going to ship, but it's just so bright, so vibrant. There's a lot of contrast with the colors, and you can really see that here with these very, very deep greens on some of these indoor plants, which it's just looking like our selection is going to be pretty expansive. The little cacti is so cute. We're going to have hanging plants, smaller potted plants for tables, and even larger plants for the floor. The Paralives team does confirm that the plants themselves cannot be recolored, but the pots that they're contained in can. And this has already been confirmed previously, but the Paralives team does clarify this on this plant post that custom content and mods will be able to be shared through the Steam Workshop. So if you're not familiar with how the Steam Workshop works, it's actually very easy to get mods in your game if you play a game that has Steam Workshop capabilities. You simply go on the community page on the Steam app, you see mods, you see custom content. All you have to do is click the subscribe button, close out of your game, and it's gonna download and install all of them for you. And yes, if mods or CC are updated on that page, they're automatically going to be updated for you so you don't have to worry about going through websites patreon tumblr all of that to you know find the latest version of whatever it is you're looking for it's going to automatically update so things are going to work very very smoothly with this game i will say i'm excited for that so there was a whole patreon post on a big update on vegetation the team writes hello everyone Alea here bringing you a spring update on the vegetation in paralyzed it's been a minute since we made a post about all the vegetation, but you've seen some sneak peek during our yearly recap for 2023. It's time to give you a tour of everything we've added so far to the game. Some are old friends, but the majority haven't been properly introduced to you yet. Huge trees to help fill the neighborhoods. One of my favorite things to create for the game are big fluffy trees. They are so tall that para folks look minuscule next to them. They are perfect to create shades and dimensions in gardens. So different varieties of trees coming to the game, honestly expected, but they look really, really good. From left to right, we have maple, hornbeam, birch, willow, and poplar. And Maggie is under one of those trees there, the willow tree. It's even hard to see her because of how big these trees are and how zoomed out they are in this shot. Like if I wouldn't have read that, I wouldn't have even known that that was Maggie. I'm not going to lie. Literally at first, I thought that was just like a little orange flower popping out of the ground like it's crazy that that is an actual para like the fact that the trees are going to be relative size you know to how they are in comparison to things in the real world is really awesome on this next picture from left to right we have white spruce norway spruce siberian fir bamboo royal palm and maritime pine again there is maggie beneath the bamboo tree super super tall she looks like a tiny little orange skittle <laughs> All right, onto the small trees, perfect for backyards and sidewalks. Not every tree should be 10 meters tall, so we added smaller species and younger trees to have more variations and give you a wider range of options. We have Sakura, Rowan, Japanese Maple, European Fan Palm, Greek Juniper, 
and cedar tree. Definitely a lot easier to see Maggie here. The leaves on these trees all look just so lush. Again, vibrant with the colors. And for this next picture from left to right, we have apple tree, ginkgo, and four variations of trimmed yew trees. I already know that there are going to be tons of players that decorate their lawns or lots with these trimmed yew trees to make different shapes and patterns. So up next, bushes. With or without flowers, bushes are heavily used in every one of our builds so far. Chloe and I love to improve our yards with them. They are great to fill up empty spaces and make a garden look cohesive and well thought out. So from left to right, we have hedges, simple bush, halo dogwood, heavenly bamboo, aucuba, blue oats, aloe vera, plantain lily hosta, and Boston vines. And our last picture for bushes, barberry, hydrangea, lavender, hibiscus, yucca, hosta king size, roses, climbing roses, and oleander. And for flowers. Flowers were a non-negotiable. We wanted a variety of shapes, colors, and sizes to be able to create interesting compositions whenever we need to. We have delilahs, narcissus, sunflowers, carnations, calla lilies, daisies, lilies, and tulips. And on this second picture, we have geraniums, twins, lilies of the valley, wild orchids, black-eyed Susans, poppies, cyclamens, and hyacinths. This next scene is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they write that I created this scene to showcase how versatile our plants can be. And placing these down, all bunched in together, intertwining, really makes a lovely garden that just pops. I also still can't get over the texture of the grass and how there are actually going to be strands of it sticking up into the world. One thing that I hate in video games is a completely flat ground texture and we're not going to have to worry about that in Paralyzed. This last picture is one of my favorites because it has everything that we've talked about in one single picture and because of that you can see the general scale of exactly how big some of these large trees are. I'm like looking very close I can't even tell if Maggie's even down there in this shot, but just seeing how small some of these flowers and potted plants are, like even some of the large potted plants from the first picture that I showed you, it looked pretty big in that picture, but compared to everything else, they look like little tiny flowers. The scale of everything is just insane. All right, with bushes, flowers, trees, and shrubs, grass, and beautiful pops of color out of the way, we're moving inside of the Paris home. I swear to God, they're getting getting better and better every single time. I really don't know if they're still fine tuning the art style, but everything just looks so smooth. The animations are so fluid. We're having a peek at Paris dancing now. So some actual gameplay, if you will, in this new animation showcase. The team has published a brand new one minute and 20 second video clip showcasing different dances and animations featured in Paris. Lives. We've already seen the baby laying idle, but there's laying idle variation for babies grabbing feet and idle pregnant parafolk. And for dancing, we have low skill, low skill variation, medium skill, medium skill variation, and high skill. So how will the dances work in Paralyze? The team writes, for the initial launch, we prioritize creating casual dance animations. By that, we mean the kind of moves that could fit as many settings as possible or the sort of moves one could make at a club or a casual party. We aimed for a neutral style, avoiding overly specific or technical choreography. However, we would like to see more dancing styles after early access. Why not try something like swing, hip hop, belly dance, jazz, or even country dancing? As you may have noticed, each skill level has one base animation that will loop a few times in one variation, for now, that will play from time to time. Later on, we would love love to add more variations for each skill and dance styles. Regarding my workflow for making these animations, as always, when I'm not confident enough to shoot my own references, I look for videos of talented people. In this case, skilled dance teachers. Once I've edited everything and it's validated, I can start animating in our 3D software, Blender. Some of you may be wondering if Paralives will have dance animations that work with a duo. We would love to add that option. However, Parafolk's dancing while holding each other is 
a big challenge, especially because of our character height customization feature. After the initial release of the game, we might have more time to create dance animations for couples and to make sure they look good even if a small para dances with a tall one. So, you know, there are going to be some issues. There are going to be some complications here with this. Like they mentioned in this blog post, we know that we're going to be able to customize the height of our paras. And because of that, having two paras interact with each other being different heights can cause a lot of issues with animation flow. So I'm honestly not really upset at this. I completely understand. But it's nice to know that they're going to look into it for potential implementation after release. So for our next section, baby animations and a little sneak peek at pregnant para folks. Today, we also wanted to show you a bit more of our baby animations. In the video above, you'll find two of our main baby idol animations and one cute idol variation I've just made where the baby is trying to grab their feet to eat them. More baby animations are planned for the following weeks and we can't wait to show them to you. We included a little treat at the end of the video. Yes, this is our first pregnant para folk ever. Sonia kindly created hers so we could showcase this new idol animation to you. It is the very first task that Lena has completed for Paralives and we love the result. I'm pretty sure that we have seen this video clip already, especially the section with the baby and the idol pregnant para, but man, I'm just, I'm so excited for this game. Early access from what we know is next year in 2025. Honestly, I can't believe we're getting closer and closer to this. I feel like we've known about this game for so many years. It just feels like so much time has gone by at this point. You know, to know we're probably more than halfway through development for Paralyzed, probably well past halfway through development, honestly, but just being generous there, it's just, it's so exciting. Anime and Paralyzed. You know what? I'm here for it. I don't know if this is actually going to be implemented into the base game for everyone or if this was just made for promotional purposes, but this is really cute. I love the wall art and the little anime sketch. That's definitely how I used to draw anime characters when I was learning in middle school. The figurine and the body pillow and even the little anime decor. This looks really, really cute. So coming down to the end here, we have a new build mode post. The Paralyzed team actually references Charlie XCX's brat here with this build mode post and it's the same except there's new fences so it's not. As the lighting in this game is just so good. Oh my gosh. We have windmills, solar panels, fences, grills, and an outdoor patio set all surrounded by new fences that the team is showing off here and also our fence placement tool all in a brand new public Patreon post. So the team writes there are two methods with which you can place your fences. The first is the drawing method where you can draw your fences the same way you would your walls. We should all be familiar with this as this is what we do in The Sims. The second, the wall replacement method where you can select a wall and have it changed to a fence of your choosing. They do write here that currently fences cannot be curved. A lot of designing to get rounded fences is required, so it's a feature we will keep for later. If you try to replace a curved wall with a fence, it will not work. I am very happy that they were transparent with that though. Definitely a little sad, but you know, they're keeping that in mind for later, so you can't really be mad at that. They write, our system works so that you can easily connect several fences from different angles, which I think it makes using them so much fun. You can also connect them to walls and different fences with no issues. It's been a long time since they've shown off this feature specifically, but dragging walls, dragging fences, you can actually see the distance of how long the fences and numbers and the degree angles for the corners. Like very, very small features for some, but very important. I think that's going to go a very long way for builders. As you add more pieces, the pillars at the connected edges will update to be oriented in a new way that looks the best for what you created. There are some that are currently being created right now, and here's a few that are in the game at the moment. There will be fencing that matches the stairs 
railings. This way, you can coordinate them if you desire. For gardens and the like, you will have a selection of fences, short and tall available. Players will also have a few privacy screens like the one on the left to choose from. If you want something more sturdy and chic to uh, hide them with style, there are also some brick and stone fences available. Lattice fences if you want to have a bit more privacy from your neighbors. These are quite common in Canada. I can hardly make it in a suburb without seeing at least one yard fenced with these. I feel like these are also pretty common in suburban America too. A lot of people that want privacy in their yards usually choose this fence. And lastly, if you want something a bit more stiff for city-oriented builds, there will be some options too. Chain-linked fences are next on our list. Yes, yes, yes. I was really just thinking about that. So that's it for blog posts. They did share a brand new screenshot four days ago on October 10th. As summer is ending for some, our paras are showing off their new swimsuits, which look amazing. We have a bunch of paras just hanging out at the beach, it looks like, in their swimsuits, relaxing in the shade of their umbrellas with their newspapers and Stanley cups. And if you take a peek all the way in the back, there's a para who's completely buried in the sand with their head sticking out. This was definitely done on purpose. <laughs> so let me know down below what you guys think of these new Paralives updates, or maybe not super new if you've seen them already, but some of the latest with the game. Again, I feel like a broken record at this point, but I swear every time we get new updates, I feel like everything just looks better, more polished, it looks smoother. The lighting is so, so, so good. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. Early access from what we know now is next year, or at least starting sometime next year. Of course, if there are any updates or changes on that, I will be sure to let you know. That's gonna be it for me though. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining or informative, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And I'll see you all next time. Take care and happy life simming, guys.